We'll also be talking about lidocaine in another section of this course when we talk about antiarrhythmic drugs and drugs that are used during uh, life-threatening emergencies. So lidocaine can be used as an antiarrhythmic. It can be used as part of a resuscitative attempt for certain advanced cardiac life support scenarios, but it's also a local anesthetic. So this medication is available in numerous dosage forms to provide local anesthesia. One of the more common uses of this, and we see this in, quote, the top 200 or top 300 prescribed drug lists, is the lidocaine patch systems. So lidocaine comes available as a topical patch to basically provide local analgesia to patients. And the sensation of that uh, local analgesia as well might help with just general pain syndromes that are localized to an area of the body. So lidocaine patches are very commonly used. It's also available in a topical jelly form. And we see that used in, in the inpatient setting, especially for procedure preparation. It's available as an injection. So you may have had lidocaine or similar types of local anesthetic injections if you've ever had minor procedures or perhaps had a dental procedure done. Um, the topical forms of this are typically well tolerated, but it's important to know that you can have systemic toxicity even from topical application of lidocaine. And lidocaine toxicity can be significant. And it's a very important consideration when patients are receiving these products. So the, there has to be much care taken to make sure that there's not over application of topical lidocaine, that the patches aren't inadvertently cut because they can release more lidocaine if they're cut and the lidocaine leaches out of the controlled uh, topical patch system. So that's an important tip that hopefully the pharmacists are counseling patients on. 